quick look now at food and energy consumption. Okay, so we'll just run through a few quick points. Energy in food is generally measured in kilojoules, or we could actually measure it in calories as well. So one kilojoule is a thousand joules, so it's related to the kilogram uh, or kilometer, yeah, so it's a thousand of. One megajoule is a million joules, so that's one with six zeros, obviously, and it's also equal to a thousand um, kilojoules. Okay. Now we also use a measure of energy called the calorie, and there's, there's, there's two words that tend to come up, which is the calorie, the word calorie on its own, and the unit for that is CAL with a capital C. I think that's very, very important to note. Must be a capital C. Okay, if it's a lowercase C, it's actually something else. So it must be a capital C. Um, you might also see the word kilocalorie. Um, not as common, but it does come up. So a kilocalorie is a lowercase k, lowercase c, and then it's an al. Um, but they're actually identical, um, at least for the purposes of what we're about to talk about. Uh, and the conversion between the calorie and the kilojoule is uh, one calorie is 4.184 kilojoules, which is roughly around 4.2. Okay, so sometimes um, it might be easier to just to remember 4.2, uh, but the more exact conversion is 4.184. Let's have a look at some examples now. Okay, and converting uh, between, so for example, kilojoules to calories. Okay, we'll, we'll use the conversion that we've defined um, in the notes there. So 560 kilojoules, and we're going to convert that to calories. So always remember that the calorie okay, is the larger unit of measure, so it's going to be a division. Okay, so kilojoules to calories is fairly straightforward. Okay, so it's 560. We're going to divide that by 4.184. Okay. And that equals, okay, so 560 divided by 4.84. Okay, so just entering it in there. And we get 133.8. We'll just leave it to one decimal place. Okay, 133.8 calories. Capital C, small a, small l. Okay, 7,000 calories to kilojoules. Okay, again, we're focusing on the on the on the calories to to, to joules. Okay, or the or the joule, which is a, a metric unit. Okay, calories are an, an, an imperial unit of measure. So 7,000 calories to megajoules. Well, probably you might want to do this in two steps. Convert calories to kilojoules first, and then kilojoules to, to megajoules. Okay, so let's convert the calories to kilojoules first. So 7,000 calories. So we're going to, instead of dividing by 4.184, we're going to multiply by 4.184. Okay, and that gives us the kilojoules, or the kilojoule equivalent of 7,000 calories. Okay. If you like, we could we could do it in. We'll just do it in two two actual steps. So we could have done it in one uh, times 4.184, and we get two nine two eight eight. Two nine two eight eight. So twenty nine thousand two hundred and eighty eight kilojoules. Okay, lowercase k, capital J. Now kilojoules to megajoules. Okay, we're going to uh, divide by a thousand because we're going from a smaller unit of measure to a larger unit of measure. Okay, so two nine two eight eight. Okay, divide that by a thousand, and we get twenty nine point two eight eight megajoules. Okay, capital M, capital J. Part C: two hundred and seventy joules to kilojoules. That one's a, a little bit easier. Okay, so. 270 joules divided that by 1,000. We're going from a small unit of measure to a large unit of measure. Um, just going from joules to kilojoules. So there's a division by 1,000 there, because that's what kilo means. Okay. So 270 divided by 1,000, and that gives us 0 0.27 kilojoules. Little k, big j. Okay. And 8,700 uh, kilojoules to calories. Some of you might recognize this number from somewhere. Um, I have seen this number around, um, that one. So 8,700, we're going to divide that by 4.184, because that's the conversion, okay? And we should get a number close to 2,000. So 4.184, and we get 2,079 uh, calories. Okay. Uh, where this number comes from, you might want to research this number, that's the, the average adult uh, energy requirements, okay, per day. The, the daily energy requirements. So you may have seen this number before. Next video, I will look at another, another uh, the second part of this example, uh, where we'll look at a, a portion of a food label.